All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. Another episode of Seven Billion Humans Checkerboard Organization, Year Thirty One. No more sloppy printing. Yes, I enjoy sophisticated data patterns. I'm going to print out an important document here. Would you please take it, take a page from the printer, and fill the floor with a checkerboard pattern? That should leave some nice tiles unoccupied for browsing my document. Okay. Um, I'm not going to step on data like an animal. So, if I look here. I'm going to take from, let's put the nearest printer into, if I take from the nearest printer and I just step, I'm always going to take it from the top, right? Yeah, so this is, I can't just do diagonals from here because that's not gonna lay me out in the right checkerboard pattern i need to make one direction up down left or right step i can't do it down obviously one up right or left step um first and then so i need to step up right or left i don't really care which one this probably will help with the optimization and then and then step if My tile is now... Oh, wait. I can always do that. Oh, I was going to say I could do that checkerboard pattern and just check a, a tile, like, a diagonally from me. But then I realized there are these holes there, and I will fall into these holes, wouldn't I? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would fall into these holes. Well, I have to be off of that part of the, of the pattern. So, if the tile I'm on is nothing, then drop. Uh, else, step randomly in one of these directions and then jump back to take from M1 should work right wait I'm losing workers why Why is that happening? Oh, I think I need to jump from this step back to here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. We just gotta get them to go. Got it! Seven or fewer, I use nine. Speed challenge was actually beat. That is kind of amazing. Can I drop this? So how do I get rid of this jump? There's no loops, unfortunately, um, that you could just like write into this. Let's see. So I gotta take from. I have to do that step, don't I? Take from nearest. And you can't like take from nearest with a diagonal direction so if it's not nothing I don't know I don't know if this would help at all if it's not nothing then step else drop and then you can't take from M1 if you're already holding something so can I get rid of this jump and make it actually still work They'll just complain, right? Yeah, they're gonna complain, and now they're gonna be falling in the. No, because I go to take back from. Wait, I don't understand why they. Hold on a second. Okay, you're gonna move. It was empty, so you moved, so you got that done. Cause it, they're working in the right pattern. When is it that they... How did this guy... Oh, because they're stepping... 
randomly. Uh, shoot. And there's no single direction I can go. It's because I am jumping back up here. Okay, can I do drop, take from? Step. That's fine, I don't care, they're not holding anything to drop. Okay, this will work, nobody will die, they will eventually finish. But I'm still one command too long. Because I needed seven. And how do I do... I can't get rid of this else, I don't think. I need... And I really need them. Uh, I need that M1. I need a jump, and I'm down to a single jump. I'm down to an if and else statement. How about I change this back to a uh, does equal nothing. Swap these around. And then get this outside of the else. Would that work without killing people? It will. Okay. It's not going to be as efficient, but it gets me down. I've met both challenges of this code. Seven. And it still actually meets both challenges. That's interesting. Um, so that was great. Check out organization. Creative writing. Let's see what this one has to offer. Adjectives. Nouns. Prepositions. Articles. And Oxford commas. All critical components of clear, unambiguous writing. Please enjoy your command write. It allows workers to change the number of any data you keep their holding onto. Yes, you can now write anything in the entire universe you can possibly imagine. As long as it's a whole number between 0 and 99. Okay. Make all data cubes say 99. Okay. So nearest data cube. You can't give it any statistics on the nearest data cube, huh? So I can't say like nearest data cube. Huh, how would you do this? So I need to pick up. Nearest data cube. Right. 99. No, it's right. 99. Okay, right. 99. Am I supposed to drop it then? But is it, that's going to be my nearest data cube now, forever and always, right? They're just going to sit at one data cube. Yeah, they're just going to keep picking it up over and over and over again. Um, should I just have them like, step down every time and find the nearest data cube? Would that work? No, so this guy gets stuck in a loop because he keeps coming back to the nearest data cube. So the nearest data cube, it seems to be up, is prioritized over the left. Um, so what if I did a down left instead? They're never gonna, he's never gonna hit up this data cube though. I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to just do a nearest data cube in this one. 
We're gonna have to line these guys up and have um I want I want them to be in a line. I want them to get into two separate lines. Um them to just go draw I want them to walk I don't think I can use the nearest stuff I don't think that'll work yeah that won't work the nearest stuff so I, I have to abandon this nearest data cube prospect and we need them to walk down I wish these guys were shuffled over a little bit Because all I really need them to do is say, step, okay, I'm going to trash this whole thing, yes. step, down, if their spot equals a data cube, pick it up, pick up right, 99, and then drop, else, if direction to the right is a data cube, pick up right, I don't, if I don't mm, pick up right, I'm going to kind of like Actually, let's do a right and then a drop. Right and then a drop. We're gonna start start this with a jump to here, and then I'm gonna jump you up to here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Jump you to here. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Um, so we're always stepping. Oh, I don't want them to always step down, though. Start there. If to the right's a data cube, I want you to pick up right, jump, else if. To the left is a data cube. Pick up left jump all the way to the top as well. And at some point, I need them to move down. But how are they going to know when they've. Well, if I don't put these in else statements. So they just keep running down the line, then when they get to the bottom. I do it like this, and then no matter what, I just have them jump from the very bottom all the way up to the step down. Will this work? Okay. Oh, because it just keeps jumping back to the top. Okay, okay. I, I'm not going to be able to do this. So pick up. Let's just do the pick up right drop. Um, and let's get rid of this. So I have to do pick up right. This is not going to be efficient at all. But it's the only way I can do it right now without getting stuck in a loop that I can think of. This guy should look left and do it. These guys moved down. Yeah, and they've only got two that they're dealing with. This should actually work. He missed one. 
He missed one as well. Why? Why did they miss that one? Okay, both of you guys at the top got your... So he got his left one. That was fine. This guy is not going to get his right one for some odd reason, and why not? So he wrote, he dropped. If to the right is a data cube, he's going to pick up to the right, which he did. So he's doing that. This one is picking up to the left right now. So why did that not work? Oh, 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 I see what happened. Um, oh, God damn it. That's annoying. Because they, they, they move when they pick up. Oh, excuse me. They don't move when they pick up, but they need to drop. So he needs to step to the right first. And then this one, he would need to step to the left before he drops. There we go. There we go. Okay, it worked, but that was terrible. I don't, six or fewer commands? How on earth? The six or fewer commands has to be something to do with the nearest data cube. Pick up. Mem1, write it, and drop it. And then you have to move. You have to move and jump. That's like the only other part of the command. You need to like step somewhere to make this thing give you the right I don't want to step to Mem 1. What if I just arbitrarily stepped it down right and then jumped? Oops. That's six commands. But they're gonna yeah, they're they're gonna get stuck in loops because their nearest data cube is at some point or another. I don't understand how this one would be done completely optimized. Step down? I tried this one, it didn't work. So yeah, they're getting stuck because they're prioritizing up. I don't know how to do this one. I will be honest. I don't know how to do this one. They've changed some of these options. We're going to come back to that one. Data backup day. I'm going to have to look at some videos on that because I don't know how to optimize that at all. Just a moment, everybody. I'm just finishing up on an important report I've been working on over the years. Type, 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 type. Yes, and done. Excellent work, if I say so myself. Let me just save my work here and file save as... No, 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 no. Disk abort fail. What? Wow, you, you. Stop. Free try. Gah! Who would have thought that my entire career would come crumbling down to a catastrophic data loss? Ha ha! Don't worry, everybody. Did I fool you? Yes, I always knew I could have become an actor if this management job hadn't worked out. Data loss is something that can happen to anybody. It's nothing to be ashamed of. This is why we're making backups. Let's all practice making backups here. Wow, okay. Each worker has a cube, has a cube on both sides. The bigger number is corrupt. Overwrite the bigger number with the value of the smaller number and place them back on the floor where they started. You get a new command, set. Set works similar to nearest, but you can use it to remember things on specific tiles, numbers, and many other things. Use the question mark button over there to learn more. Um, uh, I want to look at set. How does set work? Place a value into a memory slot for later. You can store numbers, things you're holding, things around you, or even workers. Setting a mem slot to an empty tile will store the value nothing and not a specific tile. Okay, so... They're random right now. So I need to set... Mem1... Oops. 
set mem1 to mem1. Hmm. If I set mem1 to a direction and this thing is still constantly moving, is it actually a number or is it literally a direction? Let's uh, let's step through this thing. And uh, stop. Pause. So you just set your mem1. Your mem1 is. Okay, so. Oh wait, he did have he had 82 set in his, in his mem1. But is it always going to be? What if I pick up now, left? Wow. So they actually knew what it was going to be, before actually picking it up, huh? So these aren't random, at all. Is what you're actually saying to me. The randomness has nothing to do with when you pick it up. It's like a, it's a set number that I just don't know what it is when the program starts. Okay, not that that changes anything. So I'm gonna set mem one to the left. Set mem two to the right. Um, if mem one is greater than mem two, then pick up the right right mem wait which one am I getting rid of the bigger numbers corrupt so I'm writing mem 2 oh I'm sorry if mem 1 is bigger then I want to pick up to the left right mem 2 there I need to then step don't I which is annoying step and drop Else, pick up. Let's do an end. End. Else, pick up. I I don't have to do a direction, I guess. Oh, you know what? I can do. Whoops. I can't drop at an area. Okay. Else, pick up. Let's just do pick up to the right. Right mem one. And drop, or ste step in, I need to step and drop. Step, right, drop. Would this work? Oh yes! That's kind of crazy. Nothing puts the mind at ease like redundant data storage. Eight or fewer, I used 12. Mine was really fast. I'm trying to... What else could you have done? Because you have to pick up and write. You have to pick up a specific memory block as well. Um, like, you can't... As far as I know, I'm not able to... I have to step a certain direction. I do have drop in there twice, but to not have drop, you'd have to use a jump command, which I don't need to have. Um... I either have an end or put this in an else. It doesn't really matter. So I, I, I can take away this end by putting this stuff within an else command. And that gets rid of the end, but that's still the exact same length. Hmm. And I can't, like combine these rights because one I have to write a mem1 and one I have to write a mem2 so I can't like just tell me to pick up from a certain area oops cancel 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 the game I can't just say like pick up from cuz I I could also do this is pick up from mem1 write m2 mem2 and step if I pick up mem1 actually does it step over to mem1 and if I pick up mem it probably does. So I could probably get rid of these steps and make it... This should work. Yeah. So that actually makes the move part happen. I'm still two lines of code shy of having this completely optimized. And... Can I do if... You know what? If mem1, if left is greater than right, 
Do I have to store Mem 1s and Mem 2s? Oh, well, no, because no, then I, I would need the steps again in there. Will this even work, though? So that will work. So you don't need to store anything. But you would just need to walk if, uh... If I wanted to do this. Oh, you need to know what to write, though. So you do need to store the stuff. So it doesn't really matter. If mem1 greater than mem2. I, again, am... Kind of at a loss for how to make this. Well, I guess you know what? I could move the drops out of the else out of here. That's one. Cause that should still work. Cause they're gonna drop no matter what. Wherever they're at, yeah, that works. It's closer. Closer. But I got pick up two and write one. I wouldn't know which one to pick up. I'm trying to think, see if I can combine these pickups into like moving to your location and then pick. No, that doesn't work either. This is the best I could. I think it can be done. And I can't move that outside of an else statement. Like, then, then it would just die, right? If I, if I took these outside of an else statement to drop this one more, it, it definitely would not work. Maybe it would, actually. You know what? It might, because they're already holding something, so they can't go pick up the other thing, so it's just going to confuse them. But they might move to the wrong spot. Oh my god, it worked. They didn't actually move. Because they were already holding something, they ignored that part. Which got it down to the optimal size challenge, which is funny. But the speed probably went way up. But that's fine. I didn't need it. I got both of them. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Data backup day. Both completed. Seek and destroy one, and this will be it for this episode. Pending, we can get through it since I've already recorded for quite a while. Yes, I know what you're thinking. It's true. Every piece of data is a precious miracle. Workers, you each had a line of precious miracles above you. Yes, let's take a look a moment and appreciate them. They're also green and uniquely numbered. Each of you must find the littlest data cube in your line. Oh, uh, isn't that cute? Okay. Well, the problem with data is that numbers take up spaces, big numbers, and storage spaces isn't cheap, you know. You can see where you're, we're going with this. So let's just take that littlest number and shred it. What? Shred the smallest. Okay, so this is relatively easy, um, I think, if I'm thinking of this right. If above me equals a wall, or it does not equal a wall. That's where I'm doing my stuff. Else, so I want to go the nearest, uh, and one equals nearest shredder. Um, and this is at the very end of this thing. So at the else statement, I'm going to say, give to near shredder. And that's the end of the program. Otherwise in here, I'm going to go step. Step up. Can I do a pickup? So let's start out with if my item is greater than or is less than no is greater than whatever is below me at this particular moment. So if I have a bigger one and I need to get a smaller one, I need to drop. I wish you could drop a direction. This is so annoying that I can't... What can I give to? What if you try to give to... Just step up, step up, step up. 
pick. Alright. Actually, this to pick up. Up. Give to. Right. I want to know what happens if I give to. Cannot give to nothing. Okay, so that's annoying. Um. Because I have to be able to drop. Yeah, that sucks. So I need to, I can't give to, I need to basically step, right, drop my item, and then pick up left. That should make the shove, oh no, the pickup doesn't work like that, ah, god dang it. How do you have the pickup not work like that, but the, oops, but the drop work like that, that's really freaking annoying. Okay, so that will swap me to the next cube, and then I need to step up again. And as long as we're within this if statement, I do think it needs to just jump. Back to here. Never picking it up. Oh, I, I started with my item. Um, if up is not a wall, I mean, let's pick up your spot and see what happens. Then. They're going to complain that they can't pick something up. I get it. I get it. They'll eventually be able to pick something up. Is everybody really shred their line? It worked. So the concept works. Mine's really, really slow. They're doing a lot of things that they shouldn't be doing. Um, we got a couple of minutes here. Let's see if we can. Let's take a couple of minutes and see if we can actually optimize this in some way, shape, or form. The whole stepping piece is really annoying. Can I? Go to the next thing set. Oh, you know what? Okay, okay. I'm gonna copy this just so I don't lose it. Um, I'm gonna paste. I think what I need to do is I don't need to go picking this stuff up. I just need to go set Okay, okay, yeah, let's uh get rid of all this stuff. Um So if up above me is not not a wall, set mem mem two to what's below me. No, I don't need that set. If above me is not a wall, oh, dang it. then if below me, I, I need to have a mem2 in here. I need the mem2 initialize so I can do something with it. Okay, if below me is less than mem2, then set mem2 to whatever is below me. And then step up. doesn't even matter. Always step up. And then pick up them too. So what this is supposed to do is it's going to constantly be looking for the lowest one in the line. I still need a jump statement in here. Right there. 
putting stuff in memory, hopefully, and then when they get to the bottom of the line, they're gonna go back, grab the, oh, okay. They didn't put anything in them too. Uh, let's take a look at like this guy, and let's step through this. He's got nothing, nothing, nothing. Should immediately have something. So since Mem2 has nothing. So Mem2 gets set to nothing. I need Mem2 to get set to something. Like why is Mem2 nothing when you're here? Because if what I have is less than, or if the spot that I'm on is less than Mem2, let's say, or, can I go Mem2 equals nothing? I could equals nothing. There we go. That will set something to Mem2. So if I look at this guy, Okay, good. We, we've set something. Okay, that worked. Nine. Okay. It's getting closer, too, but not perfect. So, can I get rid of... Actually, can I get rid of this set now? That actually should be it. All your workers have died. Why they die? Is it because it's not initialized? So it's not setting. So my mem2 doesn't equal nothing, it's null. That's annoying. How can I do it? Is not greater than? Uh, hold on. If mem two. Greater than. I can't do a not greater than. I can't say it's not equal to nothing because then it'll always. Wait, here we go. And not equal to nothing. I'm just not 100% certain it's no, because it's still. It's not initialized. I'm pretty sure is why. They're never, they're never putting anything in their mem2. Mem2 set. Oh, I guess that mem2 is nothing. This will work again. Yeah, they got something in their memory at this point. And if, oh, you know what? If I'm doing this, god damn it. I'm so mad at myself. I thought I had looked for that else statement at the very beginning, and I did not. So, now we've successfully done that. I'm close to that target. I wonder if we can get this target to work any faster. You have to do the mem2 setting. I have to pick up that one. I have to go give it to the shredder. You always have to do that. Why is it going to work so slowly? So if it's not equal to a wall. I 
But what if I if I trash that part part of it? Is it, is it gonna get all screwed up now? They're never actually gonna do anything. Yeah. Oh, can I just set it to zero? No. Wait. Oh, no, I need to set it to 99. It'll cause a problem if I have a 99 in my code. I just want to know if that makes it faster because I don't have to do something. 23 seconds. I need to get rid of two more seconds of this thing. Um. I don't think that'll help at all. Let's bring that outside the loop. Oh no, because then I'll never get down here. It needs to be within the, the if statement. Can I just make this an and? And my direction. No, that's not going to work actually. I was going to try to combine these into one statement, but I realized that I need them in a separate statement because I need to know when to step and when to jump back versus when to let the code finish and come down to here. Um, I mean, this could, could again be done with this being in and else, and that would accomplish the same thing. That's not going to be any faster, is it? Oh, no, because you still need to jump back to the top, so that would not be any faster. Never mind. So still, no matter what, I would need this jump statement. Um, let's go back up to here. I think this is the best it's going to do, and I just don't know what is going to make it any faster running. But anyways, guys, I, I did as well as I could for this particular challenge. It, uh, I'm going to have to look at some optimized code from some people and see what I'm doing. What I'm doing slightly wrong to get these to be just off these targets. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of 7 Billion Humans, and I will see you next time.